Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Striking Gold podcast, little nuggets to help you grow your business. Today, I'm going to talk about busy versus productive. My name is Lauren Goldstein, and I'm the founder and CEO of Golden Key Partnership, where we help you make things simple so you can grow. So busy versus productive. This actually is something that came up a few days ago because I was seeing someone in in my life really struggle with feeling inundated and trapped by their business and like they really just could not get a grasp on it, could not get ahead. And it really made me think, I wonder how many other people are suffering this same affliction. And then I thought about my business. And for those of you that know me well, you know that I actually oversee three separate businesses. So of course, Golden Key Partnership is my baby and the one that takes most of my time, but I have a small tech company and also a dermatology business that I oversee. And I am so lucky to have really great teams that allow those two businesses to run pretty smoothly and help and help me manage them. But it doesn't, I don't think, matter how good your team is if you can't delegate but you also can't prioritize and see the tasks that are busy work versus productivity. So something that I do that I want to share with you guys, and and hopefully this will make sense, is I already talked about Sunday planning on a previous podcast. I'll link it below. But Sunday planning is huge for me. You know, I look at the week, I see what has to get done, and then I prioritize. Well, I take that same approach every evening. So, you know, my days are are pretty standard and then I go eat dinner and go for a nice walk around our lake and um, kind of decompress. But then before I go to bed, what I found to turn off my brain is to sit down for five, maximum 10 minutes and make a list of everything that needs to get done the next day. And of course, I reference that Sunday list But, you know, things come up, fires come up, all sorts of stuff can happen. But I sit down for five to ten minutes and I make a list. Sometimes those daily task lists are ten deep. Sometimes they're twenty deep. Sometimes they're only a couple deep. But why this is important is I get everything out in front of me. I can see exactly what I need to do. And then this is the kicker. This is how you go from being busy to productive. So on the list, I prioritize the top three things that if these things don't get done, the business is going to have a negative impact. So, you know, whether that's (laughs) billing or something like that. So of those three things, if I, what I do is I then take and prioritize those even further. And if it's something only I can do, obviously that goes into the Lauren pile. If it's a delegation thing, then it goes to my team. If it's a defer thing, then it gets pushed to a later date. And if it's something that, you know, has been on my list for a really long time and I just can't seem to get to it, chances are it's not actually that important. And it goes into the delete section. So it's um, do yourself, delegate, defer, or delete. Now, of those three things, I really only focus on, and you should also only focus on, the things that only you can do. So for me, a lot of the things that happen in our businesses, my businesses, can be done by other people. You know, I don't need to send some of the emails or the newsletters or do the social media posts, but I do have to close the client. I do have to deliver the service that we have said that we're going to do. Those are things that only I can do for the time being. You know, there's there's talk behind the scenes of maybe we will bring in somebody else that can take some of that off me and also pivoting a little, but that's for a different podcast. The point is, if it's something that really it doesn't matter if I do it or not, it gets delegated. That takes, I would say, better than 90% of the busy work, quote unquote, I'm doing air quotes here, off my plate. 
then I can focus on the productivity tasks that need to happen or um, the productive tasks that need to happen rather. And the way that I determine if it's productive is, is it gonna move the business forward? Is it going to help a client? Or is it gonna make us money? Because there's some stuff that, to be honest, really isn't that much fun, but it goes a long way in terms of bringing in revenue or leads or things like that. So I take the list, I've delegated out what I can, I've deleted what I can, I've deferred what I can, and now I have chunked down the stuff that only I can do. And suddenly your day goes from being a whole bunch of fires and spinning plates and oh my God, how am I going to get through this list to, okay, these are the three things that I have to get done today. And here's the the secret, guys. Better than 80 to 90% of your day can be done in a couple of hours. Like when I look at my days, I work full days, but if I actually want to take it up another step, I can chunk those things down into what I call power hours, or some people refer to as blocking and tackling, where I can take those three things and knock them out in an hour, two hours, maybe three hours, depending on what they are, and then be done for the rest of the day. I'm not saying I do that, but I could if I actually take this system, which works so well, to the next level. So to recap, if you're feeling like you are treading water that your business is sucking you up and you have absolutely no idea how to break free, then chances are you're spending a lot of time being busy and not a lot of time being productive and doing the things you need to do to move your business forward. So the way that you can fix that is to figure out if you can delegate, defer, or delete. Now. I know there are some people that listen to our podcast that say, Lauren, I'm a party of one. How the heck can I delegate? That is fair. That is totally fair. And you know what? I spent the majority of my um, formative business years being a party of one. And it was rough because you had to be the accountant, the salesperson, the implementation person, the email person, the Facebook person. You had to do everything. So if you are a party of one, I'm giving you mad props. But here's the thing. If you are a party of one, this system is even more critical because it's very tempting to do the easy things, which in general are the busy things and not the things that will actually move your business forward. So if you find yourself spending two hours on Canva, getting that social media post picture just perfect, eh, that's a busy task, not a productive task. So for you, for everybody, make a list, figure out how much that task is worth to your business and prioritize accordingly. I promise this is gonna make a huge difference in your business. It's gonna make a huge difference in your stress level. It's also going to make a huge difference in how you feel about your business. Because if you feel like it's taking over your life, or you can't get ahead, or you're a slave to it, then it takes the joy out of it. And let's be honest, if you're not having fun and you're not finding joy in your business, it sucks. So hopefully this system will help you get out of all that busy work into productive income producing activity. And you can kick some serious butt in the last two weeks of this month and for the rest of the year. So anyway, thanks for joining us. Leave your comments below. Love to hear what you think of this episode. And as always, if there's anything we can do to help you make things simple so you can grow, head on over to goldenkeypartnership.com or hit us up on the Facebook page and we'll see how we can help. Have a great day, everyone.